In this video, I will try to explain briefly the basic concepts of data handling. First, let us know about the types of graphs. Histogram. A histogram is nothing but a bar graph that is used to group numbers into ranges. Histogram is used to represent the continuous data. Hence, there is no space between the vertical bars in histogram. Pie chart or pie graph. A pie chart is used to represent the parts of a whole. A circle is used to represent the whole and the segments of circle are used to represent the parts of a whole. Bar graph. A bar graph is used to show the comparison among two or more different categories. The parallel vertical bars are used here. Linear graph. A graph where all the data points can be plotted on a single straight line is called a linear graph. Any type of information or collected data can be expressed in any of these graphs. If we observe the histogram and bar graph shown in the picture, it is clear that in histogram we represent the continuous data whereas in bar graph we represent the non-continuous data. Hence there is no space between the vertical bars in histogram whereas there is a space between the vertical bars or columns in bar graph. There is one more type of graph that is line graph where the points may be collinear or non-collinear. Now let us try to learn the terminology of data handling. Data Numerical observations collected by an observer is called data or it is also known as raw data. Frequency The number of times an observation occurs in the given data is called the frequency. Range the difference between the highest and the lowest value of an observation is called range. Histogram A histogram is a type of bar diagram where class intervals are shown on horizontal axis and height of the bars show the frequency. Now let us solve some problems. The favorite fruits of a class of 74 students is given in the bar graph. The bar graph shows that 12 students of the class like grapes, 25 students like banana, 17 students like pineapple and 20 students like peach. The question is which fruit is the most favorite fruit among the students of Khalikh tutorials, the options are grapes, peach, banana or pineapple. From the given graph, it is clear that the tallest vertical bar is representing the fruit banana. Hence, banana is the correct answer. Based on the same graph, the another question is what percentage of students like peach? The options are 25%, 27.02%, 31.33% 31.33% or 24.23%. From the given graph, we can say that in a class of 74 students, 20 students like peach. Therefore, the percentage of students who like peach is equal to 20 divided by 74 into 100 which on simplification gives 27.02 therefore second option 27.02 percent is the correct answer 18 out of 36 people love reading newspapers so reading the newspaper in the pie chart will be the options are 
थर्टी सिक्स डिग्री सेक्टर क्वार्टर सेक्टर सेमी सर्कुलर सेक्टर और नन ऑफ दीज पाई चार्ट इज अ टाइप ऑफ ग्राफ इन विच अ सर्कल इज डिवाइडेड इन टू सेक्टर्स एंड ईच सेक्टर रिप्रजेंट्स अ प्रपोर्शन ऑफ द होल और पार्ट ऑफ द होल देर फॉर सेक्टर ऑफ द पीपल रीडिंग न्यूज पेपर इज इक्वल टू एटीन डिवाइडेड बाई थर्टी सिक्स इंटू थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्रीज विच ऑन सिंप्लीफिकेशन गिवज वन एटी डिग्रीज वी नो दैट वन एटी डिग्रीज इज द मेजर ऑफ अ सेमी सर्कल एज यू कैन सी इन द फिगर ऑल्सो देर फॉर सेमी सर्क्युलर सेक्टर इज द करेक्ट आंसर विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ एन इम्पॉसिबल इवेंट द ऑप्शन आर थ्री टू वन और जीरो एन इम्पॉसिबल इवेंट इज एन इवेंट दैट कैनॉट हैपन फॉर एग्जाम्पल रोलिंग अ सेवन ऑन अ सिक्स साइडेड डाई वी नो दैट अ डाई हैज सिक्स सरफेसेस विच रिप्रेजेंट्स द नंबर्स फ्रॉम वन टू सिक्स सो Rolling a seven on a six-sided die is an impossible event. Similarly, in flipping a coin once, we can get either head or tail, but getting both a head and a tail simultaneously would be an impossible event. Also, the probability of an impossible event is phi or an empty set, which can be represented by p of 5 is equal to 0 therefore the probability of an impossible event is 0 hence fourth option 0 is the correct answer a die is thrown in the air the probability of getting even number is the options are 2 by 3 1 1 by 4 or 1 by 3 when we throw a die in the air the possible outcomes are 1 2 3 4 5 or 6 that is the total outcomes is equal to 6 out of these six outcomes there are three even numbers that is 2 4 and 6 therefore the total number of favorable outcomes is equal to 3 now the probability of getting an even number is equal to 3 by 6 which on simplification gives 1 by 2 so the fourth option 1 divided by 2 is the correct answer what is the probability of getting a red card from a well shuffled deck of cards the options are 1 by 2 1 by 3 1 by 26 or 1 by 13 we know that in a deck of 52 cards there are 26 red cards and 26 black cards therefore the probability of getting a red card is equal to 26 by 52 further simplification gives the probability of getting a red card is equal to 1 by 2 hence the first option 1 by 2 is the correct answer